the nice part about this is that you go out and just try to hit, do just okay broadcasts, and some just turn out to be uh, turn out to be absolutely great. Uh, the conversations with Maury was a thing where there was this guy dying of Lou Gehrig's disease up in Boston who was a philosophy professor, and we said, let's go up and try it. And that turned into three of the most extraordinary broadcasts that you, that you could imagine. He just turned out to be great, and you had no way, you know, you, 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 just, you just try it. Uh, we did... Uh, a broadcast on an AIDS doctor in uh, Georgia who was dealing both with homophobia and racism because there was a, within the black community a lot of IV drug usage and she just turned out to be this incredible human being that uh, uh, absolutely unforgettable who would say, you know, I used to have people come in and say, you're going to die on me. And now they come in and I say, what lessons are you going to teach me? Uh, uh, certainly one of my, uh, my favorites is what Ted and Leroy Seavers did in, uh, in, the, in the war that was just an extraordinary triumph of reporting day after day under in the most incredibly difficult circumstances that you could possibly have and and telling people how this is going and by putting yourself at the front line in in real danger in 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 real fear uh, but that was one of the best things that that Ted has ever done uh, I'm certainly uh, I love the fact that we did Five Nights series on the Heart of Darkness on uh, on the Congo uh, because people knew nothing about it and but when we did it in fact it got very good ratings and everybody said God that was absolutely extraordinary I mean it was so good and 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 Ted in his understated way began the broadcast by saying uh, over the last three years. Three million people have died in this war. We thought you ought to know about it, you know, and and uh, but uh, the just there's the opportunity when you do 200, 250 broadcasts a year. Uh, a lot of them are just average, but twenty. 25 or 30 of them are really quite good and 20 of them are really great and you don't know which of those are going to be but when you lay down 20 broadcast great broadcasts a year that's a real privilege and and when I say when you it's a, it's a plural you you're working with a bunch of people and what I really do is take the work that other people do and put it on the air and remember at the end of it to say thank you you were really great uh, and to appreciate it and to say to other people that's what we do and a lot of I think what drives Nightline is that you have these wonderful people who see other people do great work and when they step up to do their stories they say I just don't want to let down the team and that that is the motivating factor that carries these people.